this year now that you know we're a couple years later we're going back and really taking a, a measured approach at it and mm -hmm. actually basing off Beth's book the book that I wrote a couple other blog posts that some of the other people in that panel have done on how to actually measure social media and go beyond the you know a Facebook like is worth a dollar and right. some of the normal metrics that people make up out there. Okay, cool, very nice. Um, so I would like to hear you talk a little bit about what experience you bring to the table, to the, I've been asking panel, but for this case, workshop, um, in regards to social media strategy, measurement, all the things you're gonna be talking about. What, what expertise do you have? Yeah, for sure. So I was at the uh, American Cancer Society for about 10 years. Um, and while I was there, I ran digital um, and interactive and started our social media program. Okay. Um, so even as far back as 2008, 2009, when social media was really in its infancy, mm -hmm. we were mostly working on building online communities. Mm -hmm. And then beyond that, I think the thing that I bring to it is what are the insights behind that? So you can measure all day. But if you're not getting actionable things out of it to give your superiors, mm -hmm. um, you know, it's not really a valuable metric. And that's all stuff that I did at the American Cancer Society. And even then, you know, doing some consulting work um, yeah. right after that for some folks like Best Friends Animal Society, the Center for Disease Control, and Reed University, places like that. All right, so can you tell me a little more about, as a workshop, what can participants expect that might be a little bit different from the traditional panel format? I think the traditional panel format, um, you know, much like if you've ever been to Social Media Club Austin or, or any of those places, you have five people up in the front, and they're all wanting to talk at the same time, <laughs> uh, depending yeah. on the panelists, and they're all sharing PowerPoints, and, yeah. and sometimes it can be a little bit of a you know, a boring classroom lecture, right? Mm -hmm. And so for us, I think this is great because we're gonna interact and we're gonna say, okay, now we have a 15 minute exercise mm -hmm. where these two rows of people get up, go out in the hallway, here's a notepad and markers, and you're gonna actually work on something. And then you're gonna come back in and you're gonna have five minutes to present it to the larger group. Mm -hmm. um, so a lot of interaction with each other, a lot of working with each other, share pairs, have two people, Let's turn to the person on your left, Okay. Um, and talk to them about what you do and what do you measure. Name, tell each of you share one thing you measure. So it's going to be a lot more interactive. So who do you think is going to benefit the most? Who do you think will really be served well by attending and learning from your workshop? Yeah, absolutely. I think it's uh, executive directors because yeah. I think leadership at nonprofits needs to understand mm -hmm. the importance of measuring this, not just throwing up a page and, and trying to build community, but measuring that community. I think it's uh, communications folks. I think it's fundraising folks. I think um, if you're a large enough nonprofit to actually have a dedicated social media person, we'd love to have mm -hmm. that digital or social media person there. Um, and I think community managers. I think the people at the larger nonprofits that are actually out there managing these platforms, you know, they're the people mm -hmm. posting a Facebook contact contests. They're people posting things on Twitter. They're people answering questions on LinkedIn. So I think, you know, those community managers we'd love to have in there uh, because then they can go back and actually measure the work they're doing and, and present that to their key leadership folks. Cool. All right. Um, and so I'm wondering, I don't necessarily want you to give away what you're going to be talking about in your <laughs> workshop, but what, what key skills can people expect to walk away with after they're done with the two hours with you guys? I think they're going to come away with two to three frameworks okay. of how they can actually measure um, their social media effectiveness. Mm -hmm. They're going to come away with some case studies from some leading brands. They're going to come away with some mm -hmm. case studies from small nonprofits like Lights Camera Help, the, the nonprofit I helped create, on how we have zero full time staff, but we're still trying to measure and understand our data mm -hmm. and pull key insights from it. And I think they're going to walk away with some worksheets and, and actual takeaways on how this works, how you can go home next week after you've recovered from your South by Hangover <laughs> um, and, and actually put it to use in measuring yeah. your communities. Okay. It's going to be a little bit more advanced, so it's definitely okay. kind of a, a 201, almost a, a 301 level. Okay. Um, so it would depend on the person, right? If you're a, a grad student who's looking to get into this field um, and you are doing stuff and building your online presence and, mm -hmm. and, and working hard towards that, filling out your LinkedIn profile and connecting with people or whatever that might be, um, it might be good because you might be able to walk into a job um, mm -hmm. opportunity 
and say, not only do I have the skills to run these pages, but also, you know what I bring to the table is measuring it and building out a dashboard sure. and presenting this to key leadership. And I think that would get a lot of people a job yeah. um, because you have people who've maybe been in the field for five years um, and are still not at that point. So I think, uh, you know, as long as you're somewhat versed and you're already on top of it, um, it'd be good. Now, if you're walking in with zero social media knowledge or digital change or digital marketing knowledge, then it's probably not useful for them. Great. Well, um, is there anything else I didn't ask you that I should have about your workshop or anything you want to share? No. You know, I think um, the the big thing for us is we're really looking forward to it at South By. Mm -hmm. um, there's a, a lot of great panels um, that are going on. You can track a lot of them. Uh, the hashtag SX good. Um, so S X G O O D uh, is kind of a hashtag to follow along on a lot of these like socially minded panels. Um, there's a, a lot of stuff around social media for social good that's actually going on at, at South by and you can kind of search that term and find a lot of the panels. Um, you know, and I would just want people reading this article to know that, um, South by is very welcoming to nonprofits and we want more people from that third sector, um, to come, you know, there's a lot of government folks, there's a lot of business folks, but. We're still trying to get nonprofits to attend, and I would just say, as a you know unofficial spokesperson who <laughs> attends South by, uh, that South by does nonprofit scholarships. Um, so once a year, they really reach out and um, let you write a 500-word essay and actually award scholarships to a lot of nonprofits who otherwise couldn't afford to come to South by Southwest. And one last thing: what advice, in general, do you have for people? who are, have never attended South by before, and it's their first time going, what would you tell them? <laughs> um, so take advantage of the networking opportunities. You know, mm -hmm. you know you're know, you tired after a long day, but do go get that beer and that barbecue or that taco uh, and network with people. Um, make sure you check out the Beacon Lounge. Mm -hmm. uh, so the Beacon Lounge is kind of the nonprofit hangout at South by Southwest, so there's always really interesting people in there. Mm -hmm. It's uh, brought to you by Beacon Fire uh, Consulting. Um, you know, I think they, they do a great job of sponsoring that every year. Um, and then, you know, I would say is, uh, you know, it will overwhelm you and that's okay. <laughs> you know, it's not your normal conference where yeah. you go all day long and then you go to the next day and sessions repeat and if you miss it one day, you can go to the next. No, everything only just happens once. Uh, and there's literally, you know, a thousand options and yeah. things for you to do. So just make your schedule and, and stick with it as much as you, sure. you feel like. And reach out. You know, there's lots of good folks that you can search on Twitter for that hashtag and ask them questions. You know, I'm at Dave I am and I'm happy to answer people's questions on what's going on at South by. Cool. Great. Well, thank you very much for your time. Yeah, you bet. We'll Thanks see you at South by Southwest. Yeah, looking forward to it.